Welcome, students, to my week two commentary for the learning community, uh, inclusive of the global citizenship students, the psych adjustment students, and the cross-cultural psychology students. In this second week, uh, we'll continue building the learning community. Uh, we'll have joining us uh, professors Nisponska and Roska Kovna from uh, Technical University at Liberates. Um, I hope you had time to look at this week's expectations and the in-class agenda, as I think you'll find them helpful. Um, with respect to uh, expectations for all students, uh, the first item would be that you have uh, begun either reading the Adams and Carfagna text or reviewed Professor Linhart's PowerPoint slides for the first three chapters of that book. The other expectation is that by the end of this week, uh, you will have completed the online pre-semester quiz so that we might use it as a comparison point when you take the same quiz at the end of the semester and see uh, the changes in your understanding of global citizenship, globalization, uh, and indeed, uh, Czech culture. Um, I assume also that uh, most of you are learning to use the technology in the course. We will provide time and, if need be, additional video materials to help you be comfortable with whatever tools you need to participate and then to complete the assignments for your particular course. So uh, we'll be dealing with that both in and out of class as well. Finally, uh, this week you should continue uh, to explore the folder that has the links to inform you about Czech culture. Certainly uh, with professors Nisponska and Roskakovna, uh, we hope to have a robust discussion in class on Monday about Czech culture. They will be asking you about your culture and your uh, perceptions of and motivation for coming into this course. Uh, and hopefully you will prepare questions uh, for our guests, uh, any kind of questions at all, uh, about the nature of Czech culture or about the nature of the students you're going to be working with. Uh, we really want this uh, in-class conversation to be a two-way dialogue as much as possible. So please come to class having prepared perhaps two or three questions uh, that might connect your interests and your assignments in your course uh, to this opportunity to work with our Czech counterparts. Uh, let me finally focus on the subgroups in this class uh, so that I might comment on the specific assignments that you're doing uh, just as uh, uh, global citizenship students or psych adjustment students or cross-cultural psych students. So if you're in either the basic or applied uh, global citizenship course, then you will be reading the text that I mentioned before, studying the uh, Czech cultural links, uh, and you will, by the end of the week, uh, learn about journaling and uh, w developing your journal. This is an assignment that is specific to uh, applied global citizenship course uh, students, uh, which is to say uh, 307 students. The 107, the, the two students who are taking the basic uh, global citizenship course, need only uh, focus on the essays uh, that are their counterpart to the journaling that the 307 students will be doing. So we'll, we'll discuss this journaling briefly in class, and I'll personally make sure that uh, you're comfortable uh, in using our web tools for online journaling. If you're in the Psych of Human Adjustment uh, course, you will be reading the Martin Seligman text uh, and starting to explore the basic approaches to the study of human adjustment. I think the Dunn article, uh, which is uh, linked to our week one folder, uh, will be a good read for you as it covers the history of this course. And I want to say to all of you that if 
producing uh, videos that are specific to your assignments would be helpful. I or one of my colleagues on the teaching team would be happy to do that. So if you're looking for additional video materials on, let's say, the Seligman's approach to positive psychology, uh, uh, we would be happy to do that. Um, as well, I might add that if you're familiar with TED Talks uh, that are online, uh, Martin Seligman and others in positive psychology have been asked and have given some wonderful uh, TED Talks that I can connect you with. Final note to uh, Psych of Human Adjustment students, you're also reading about now your ePortfolios and we would like by the end of week number three for you to have successfully established uh, your own ePortfolio site. It's only required that you start it uh, that you have some idea what an ePortfolio is and then you begin filling it with one or two of the required elements such as your introduction. Finally, the cross-cultural psychology students, of which there are about nine in the class, uh, you will be reading the Keith text, which is a good text to start early on as is a scholarly work and for those of you not in 415, this is the senior level course where students are learning about cross-cultural psychology as a professional, professional specialization area, primarily focused on research, but also focused on international collaboration uh, in a variety of NGO development, uh, indeed community development efforts. Uh, and uh, so for those students, let me say, begin reading the, the Keith materials and um, uh, I would recommend keeping some kind of notes on those readings as you too are going to be journaling and uh, that will be preparatory for your course project. Um, the journaling will be optional. You'll get extra credit for it if you do it, but I recommend taking notes on the reading if not journaling. Um, and then you'll be in good position uh, with, for your research paper uh, that will be due at the end of the semester. So I hope I was uh, somewhat helpful in speaking to the issues both of the whole learning community but also to each of the subgroups that are now uh, getting into the uh, deeper levels of globalization, uh, uh, intercultural competencies, and of course global citizenship. So I look forward to meeting with you in class uh, with our Czech professors and please bring with you or at least have access to, uh, access, access to uh, the class agenda uh, because I think it'll be a good class and hopefully we'll all be able to come to it and contribute our curiosity and questions about one another. So I'll see you on Monday.